What's up guys, this is the Rifleman and I am back bringing text episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as France. So to round off the biggest thing that happened last time was we knocked out Great Britain by capturing London. So this army is going to replenish and then it is probably going to, well then it will, um, be shipped over here to start rampaging around the Russian rear areas. What I'd also like to do is this army here under Berlin. I'd like to upgrade them a bit more to be more of a, a fortress capture unit and have them sail straight to the Baltic and smash into St. Petersburg just to uh, provide a bit of a, a bit of a, a bit of a shock to the Russian system. Let's have a look at what else have I got. My navy's being recruited. Yeah, it's being recruited. Research and tech is coming along, lovely. Cool. Well, I think there's nothing much to it. Just hit and turn and see what happens. Oh yes, I'm going after York Factory. But the big thing is, I'm eventually going to have to fight the Russians, but fortunately the Austrians look like they're mobilising eastward. And if the game ends up becoming a, a battle between... You know, if, say, we beat Russia in the game... No, why the hell would I... No. Hmm. Remember, Spain is the wild card. Spain is the one to be wary of. Um, but I think it'd be quite quick, simple to raise some forces and send them down to... No. It would be quite simple to raise some forces and send them down to Madrid. There you go, the Russians are falling back under the combined armies. Oh, no. Oh, they beat that back, that Prussian army. Well, if they're going to let me... Uh, if they're going to keep falling back, they're going to keep moving my armies up. I may as well capture the ground if they're going to let me. Yeah, the Cherokee are raiding. Let them raid. Nope. No peace for the hero. Oh, there are naturally occurring resources in this region that are not current. It's because they have steam engines, which means there's absolute loads of things I can invest in now. It's going to be an expensive few turns. I may as well just do it this way rather than manually checking. Because they're about, yeah, nearly 5,000 each. I mean, the wealth you get from them, the wealth increase is huge. Obviously, it makes people unhappy, but. God, they're so valuable. Fix. You see, I've already run out of money. But that's going to be my target for the next couple of turns. So let's move them up. Let's move this army up with them in support. So they do fancy trying to attack me, I've got this army in reserve. This could be a bit of a bloodbath. But let's go up to my to the UK. If I move you out now. I can even tax you now. Lovely. Let's embark you into Portsmouth. Take my fleet. Sell them out to Archangelsk. Good. That's one navy I've got here. Waterford. A couple of broken ships. No, I'm not going to fix you. Actually, I'm going to build a... Upgrade my church school in London. Start converting the population. I mean, obviously, it's not going to take very long to get rid of the unrest, but these things happen. Oh, I think I've done pretty much everything. Well, I was about to say that. Maintain siege here. Let's go and engage this Cherokee stack. Otherwise, they're just going to rampage through. Oh, they're, I didn't realize how depleted they were. Well, that's not really going to be a. Hmm. So I'll select you all except for the guns. The infantry can chase them down. 
La vertu et la valeur invaincue En avant Tenez-vous prêt I mean, I would have fought it, but, you know, if they're so depleted, it would just be me rocking out, firing a few volleys, and then them routing, it wouldn't be really fun. Rightio, sit and turn. Got lots of things to spend my money on. Lots of industry, lots of naval requirements, lots of military requirements. Still, it's going to be interesting. I'm surprised peace has lasted in the Middle East as long as it has. I suppose the Ottomans can't really afford to fight me because it looks like the Austrians have been pushing southwards. Hmm. So the Prussians, the, the Russians are moving west with a strong force. Let's see how much they uh, shit the bed when I dump a, a stack off the a full stack in their rear area. Oi oi. Oh, they're going to sally out. Let's do this thing. And they're also going to call in the uh, garrison, which will result in a significantly weaker um, Cherokee garrison, which is all good to me. But yeah. What I need to do is have an army placed, so if Spain declares war on me, I need to effectively deploy an army ready to Louisiana. Ooh, these are... Eh. Pull them to get over the crest of this hill, really. Because canister shot is brilliant. There we go. Good, good, good. I'll extend them out. I'm in the battle. Cover on the flanks. General's bodyguard in the centre. Colonial light. How it's a. Uh, now it's uh There we go. Well the question is you know that in this empty space there's lots and lots of Native American troops running towards us. Okay, so that's where the reinforcement army, reinforcing armies are coming in from the right. So I'm probably gonna. Let's point here, I think. But I've not finished screwing up deployment. Terry is still firing on the mounted tribal gunners. To be honest, because of the direction and they seem to be coming in. Oh, 
Up here is a safe position to fire artillery. Howitzers find a different target. All that cavalry, this one. Have at them. Yeah, I ran over some of my own guys, but I needed to get into the combat. Let's throw my grenadiers into the mix and redeploy my line. Go hit the bows instead and let's get my charge straight into the bows, I suppose. Everyone's won their respective combats. May as use my code to pick at the general. He's in combat with my infantry, but it should be okay. Let's get my cavalry out of there. Come the reinforcements. Start to shift some line over here. Run my light cavalry away from those infantry. Yeah, my Croix de Bras routing, which is fair enough. They've been getting pummeled by tribesmen and bows from all directions. So let's fall my infantry back into a better position to provide more support. It's routing, but fair enough. Happy to let them route.
And we're picking the general the round eventually. Chasing after, chase after them, yeah, chase after the medicine men. They're the important ones to get. Leave that in combat and smash straight into the bowmen. That'd be, you'd be better off doing that. Charge into the bowmen, then go through them and chase after some of these guys that are outing. Oh, there's lots of fragment units back here as well. One tribesman, one Native American warrior, 44 Native American warriors. Just run through because they'll want you to fight the combat. Go after them, I suppose. See if I can, you know, work my way around this cavalry unit so that I can chop away at some of the uh, some of their weaker units. Warrior societies are good. But they've got some grenadiers in the mix. Ooh, I wonder if they've got a if they've got a set of if they've got a, if they've reloaded. They haven't. So just send them in. Good, hopefully this general can get peppered by shot from my 48th regiment of foot. Oh, my cavalry's got bogged down. Run away, run through, run through the unit. Redeploy my line. Expecting them to come more or less right at us. Deploy my general. And there's that three. That's the unit I want to chase after. The bow's are running the wrong way now, so don't try to chase after them. Should I go for this, no, try go for this garrison native bowman unit? That should keep you out of the way long enough. Good, let's notch up the speed a bit. to do battle. If they wish to make that a melee battle, so be it. Whoa, let's get you out of dodge. You're in a bit of a tricky spot. 
so effectively just refuse to engage them and instead charge into these units. And let's hold fire. Once everyone's out of range, turn on fire at will. It's got this war society incoming. Spin the line. Just make it a bit. Come on, just deploy. There you go. Doesn't need to be good, just deploy. Allegedly, my general was in difficulty. He's probably just got shot at by a piece of artillery. There you go. They make them all charge the warrior society. So I can probably just do this. Let's turn guard mode off so I chase them down. And then chase down, definitely want to continue because they aren't going to be beaten. See how they just went, they tried an absolute murder spree trying to run, he just ran, ran straight at my own infantry. Ah, oh, so he's the only guys left. Ah, oh, it's because they've spread out. So, run into them a lot. Good, no, it's just him. Just this last warrior. Get him, boys. Yeah, you're very tired, but that's fine. Chop. That's my general as well. Excellent swings her. Not have that army run around raiding all my stuff. Then I can bring that army to, if I need to, attack the south, or I can just keep it in the Americas as a another response army. Oh no, this is this army. Sorry. In my head, I was thinking it was one in Florida. Suitable for plantations in this region. Building plantations here will increase your nation's export. So I've got a. We are not light infantry, light infantry doctrines. We've got some core cool units that can be built in Paris. Let's move up you here. Let's move you here then. Upgrade and upgrade. Village assiégé. Yeah, I may as well attack because that's just going to be a slaughter. Then maybe, because they've got... Well, no, they will have a garrison. But they don't have many troops. Let's destroy the subsistence farming or communal farming. Let's get some upgrades on the go. Invest in the territory. Oh, yeah. Let's upgrade London, because London can be a real money spinner. down the down the roof up, in, upgrading every steam powered building I can I must be able to upgrade something there we go it's only a low yield mine but still I'll take it 
It still gives me, what, 12, yeah, 1100 gold per turn. Well, 1100 gold per turn into town wealth. Then let's drop you off up here. Then let's bring my navy back because there's no point in keeping them up there. Because there's no ports, there's no threats, there's nothing. Although several morphs can be developed into a port. Any ports along here? No, just fur trapper posts. Average yield, abundant yield, lovely. Yeah, let's take Archangels, take Komi, take Kazan. You know, just start, you know, do death by a thousand cuts, sort of. I think that'd be my plan. The Mercury thermometer, lovely stuff. Cool, let's hit and turn. Oh god, just, just chop it up. What all about you? I want to keep an eye on is those Russians. Movement to go all the way to Berlin. Oh, and they left their rear areas exposed. But let's see if they have what it takes to fight the Austrians. Because if they hit the Austrians, then we might be called then as a reinforcing army. Which could be fun. Gotta really crunch those numbers and find out what war is not letting you play. The rear area could really have bamboozled them. I don't quite know what to do because they're surrounded by enemy armies. What's that little bunch of stacks there? They don't quite know what to do. <laughs> oh dear. If I was Austria, I'd have struck at Poland. Yeah, now they've worked out the kinks, <laughs> what they intend to do. Probably chased down the Austrian stack and killed it. Oh, you've spent all game running up there. Better be worth it. The Knights of St. John are going to do some raiding. Lovely people. Yes, I'm going to do that. <laughs> Maybe I'll just force them away in an easy battle. There is unused land suitable for farming in this region. Radio. Patience, everyone. You'll get to know me. You get to love me. Nation destroyed the Huron. Good. Destroy the Council of Elders. Upgrade the fair trapping post and upgrade cobbled roads because I want. Churchill to be to, to be developed. Eighty six turns. Holy moly! Seminary. It keeps long growing. Investing in the taxable income will attack your tax base is always a good idea because look how much money I'm bringing in a turn 67,000 The main thing is though I do have global ambitions to match So it's not as though I've got more money. I know than I know what to do with like I do in Mexico The Paris's income is about to explode Some wine estates. But Europe seems pretty developed. Oh, Cairo's going to start to get some loan. Oh no, I've run out of money. Then let's hop up to here. Huh. They have more of a little garage than I gave them credit for. So let's go. We're going to go kick their asses. But looking at the timer, I think that's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And I will see you next time for the first incursion to Russian rear areas. Oi, oi.